Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to the grand finale of Let's Play Alundra. This is episode 40. In the last episode we made it past the final bosses and everything. Today we're going for all the cinematics, all the credits, all of everything. So, we want to get the fire wand on. I don't know if the fire book will work. Should we get... Yeah, let's just give it a go. You never know. The fire wand definitely works. Let's see if this does. Burn it. No. Ah, uh, it didn't work. Haha. <laughs> oh well. Die. Your victory shall never be complete, Releaser. The peace you and the other mortals long for shall never be fully realised. As long as mortals harbour darkness within their hearts, evil shall exist. Or is this Kingdom Hearts or what? It's an incontrovertible, incontrovertible <laughs> fact. That, that word had too many syllables for me. And darkness resides within every mortal heart, even yours, Alundra. He <laughs> got rid of Melzus. He killed off all the more interesting people in the village, but yeah. You've exceeded my expectations, Releaser. Well done. But now is not the time to revel in the sweet intoxication of victory. Now that Melzus has perished, the Sanctuary cannot remain standing for long. You must escape before the walls collapse and the castle crumbles into the lake. Yeah, let's get over here. I want to put the sword back on for the end. I don't know why I just like to. Out, run! Okay, the cinematics are coming. I shall see you after it all, during the credits. There might be a bit of dialogue first. No, nope, doesn't look like it. I wouldn't say. I'll see you during the credits.
I would love a full-on anime of this game, and, I, and by that I mean like the full-on plot of it, the actual plot of the game. But yeah, use your cheesy ending credits music. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so... When I first heard it, I thought this doesn't fit the game at all. It doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. But I find it quite funny anyway. Shia did a good job. Shia just. Um... It's a song. It's, it's not you. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. And thank you for putting up with a Let's Replay. <laughs> Don't worry. I, well, I got the Let's Replays in mind. Um, I can't see it happening straight away yet. I've got a couple of series in mind for what's coming. Like, one of them, I know is coming next. It's going to be a blind Let's Play. And a game that I don't know anything about really. So there's that, that's coming next, which should be starting I don't know, probably the day after this one finishes, knowing me. Um it's another series I know I wanna do, but whether I end up doing that after the next one, I, I don't know. You can never tell this early on, but sometimes I change my mind and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, more about Lundra. The graphical style I feel still lives up to today because of the charm of it all. It's not like big blockbuster PS4 graphics, obviously it's not going to be, but I think I prefer this sort of art style to the big blockbuster stuff, you know? It feels more gamey instead of movie-ish to me. The music, incredible score, except for this last song maybe. <laughs> this last song is alright as a standalone track, I think, but still cheesy, but alright. But in terms of fitting in with the Alundra feel, the Alundra mood, I'm not so sure. Uh, the... Uh, what else is there? The gameplay? Amazing. I mean, Zelda-ish with the ability to jump and stuff. Which you can do in some Zelda games with a feather, but you know what I mean. So, the gameplay is really good. I love it so much. And I love to just play through this game over and over. At least once a year, I'll play through it, at least. There is the... Replayability. Now I mentioned that just now, funny enough. <laughs> I can replay it over and over because I love the game so much. In terms of replaying in general, for people who think it's an average game maybe or something like that, it's got loads of collectibles and stuff, but once you know where all the collectibles are, maybe there's not as much replayability because there's no story choices, which I prefer. I prefer linear stories, but, you know. And... Maybe it's not as replayable for some people as it is to the people who really enjoy the game. I can understand that. Overall, I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 for me. There are no... Other than the odd little bit of bugginess, there's nothing wrong with it. So, okay, maybe 9.5 out of 10. But it's still one of my favourite games overall. And I can't see it ever being beaten. I love this game. I love Final Fantasy IX. Those two sort of... And Ocarina of Time, I think. I think those three games sort of tie as my favourite game of all time, you know. There could be others as well that I'm not thinking of, but still. If you want more from the Alundra universe, Alundra 2 is out. It's not on the PSN store. This is. Alundra 1's on the PSN store. Really cheap to find on disc as well, if you prefer that. But Alundra 2 is not anything like Alundra 1. It has similarities. You still get light vessels. You still have a magic system. You still have the same sort of genre game and it's still very difficult. I would say Alundra 2 is more difficult than the first one. But otherwise it doesn't have the feel. There's no village under attack from nightmares. There's no curse. There's no god. There's no religious at I can't remember it being religious at all. But even still I think Alundra 2 is a really good game. Solid game. If you don't try and connect it to the first game that's, that's my shout on it anyway. So this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this Let's Replay. I have loved ev uh, pretty much every second of it. <laughs> There's been the odd moment where frustration can come into a hard game, can't it? Now and again. Regardless of how good the game is overall. But yeah, I've loved making this series and playing the game again. And I hope you did too. Thanks again for watching. See you again in a bit, folks.